Okay, here we go with the last little part of what we're going to do today. I'm going to go back to the site level. And we're going to do some LID, L-I-D, Low Impact Design work. For those of you who are into interior design, that's next week. We're going to view down through the roof, put in interior walls, and do some space planning. That's next week's work on this very same file. We'll keep developing it. Uh, but for right now, we're going to do some landscaping, some low impact design. And there's a few parts of it, but we're going to do one that is kind of civil, and that's to put in a retention or a detention pond. And we notice, this is really cool. I'm going to only put it here for a little bit. You can notice where everything slopes down the water is going to run into this area over here or down toward the stream. So in reality, we would put uh, a berm with a drain over to a detention pond to save the stream from any of the runoff from the uh, constructed parts and to hold it for a little while so it takes, a, takes some time. Okay, so we're going to make the detention pond portion of that down here. And the way we do it, <coughs> there's two things. One, I'm going to put this into wireframe mode so that I can see really easily. And I'm going to make a circle that's going to be sort of like what my detention pond is going to be. So I go to the annotate tab. And a detail line. This, these lines will only show up in the view that I draw them in. So I'm in my site plan view, detail line, and I'm just going to draw a circle. I'll stick it somewhere and make it some size. I don't really care for right now. I, we're, I want you to get the process more than anything else. Okay, and so then back to... Um, the massing and site. Actually, you can go anywhere here now. And now I'm going to modify this topography so that this is sort of a um, sort of a pond. So to do that, let me just see how. What's my elevation here? I'm in my site plan view, spot elevation should be able to get my elevations from here. There we go. And so if I want to, I can go to my sub elements and just find out what the, what's that like. So if I click on that, that says that's about 24 feet. And if I click on it again over here, this one's 22 feet. So if I were something like 18 to 20 feet here, it would be below the ground all over the place here. So I want to do that. I want to do that. So I'm going to let me get back out of it just in case you haven't seen that. So I'm going to click on this thing. Click. OK. And then I'm going to add some points. And those points are going to be from project base, I'm going to put mine at 18 feet. I'm just going to add some points around here. Click. Click. Um, this should be from, yeah, from project base. Hopefully those are going in at that spot. Let's see what those say they are. Nope, they did not. Okay, let's click on that again and see what they... Those should be at project base. They should be at 18 feet. There we go. I'm not sure how I got those, where I was getting those, but I can get them here, 18 feet. 18 feet. feet just clicking on it as I go these can all also get reassigned as 18 feet I'm 
over clicking as I go, clicking too much. So let's do some more points. Let's modify some of these elements. Doesn't hurt to make that one 18 feet either. Gonna add some points again, and again, I'm gonna make them, oh, offset from the surface. Oh, there it is. Along the surface, I want these to be absolute. Absolute elevation of 18. That's what, that's why those were coming off all kind of weird. I need to have this checked as absolute 18 feet. Not counting from the surface. So I'm putting all these 18 footers all around to make a nice little circle of 18 feet. And then let's go ahead and Make sure that these are it's elevation 24. Uh, I can actually just delete those because I've made this whole bottom area 18. Click outside of it, hit escape. Now you can see I've got kind of a little bowl here. When I go to my 3D view, you can see it's all gonna go down into that bowl and it's, it is going to detain it. If it goes into this bowl, it won't go off site until it fills up and over. That's a whole nother issue to deal with. But that's how we go about changing this. If you want to really get good at this, you'll, you'll take one of these and uh, get some spot elevations and find that 18 mark and find out where those are. Okay, so here's my spot elevations. I could come in here and make a little a little trench as an example so that all this runoff goes this way. At the bottom of the trench, I could put a pipe that came over here. That's more than I want to do for right now. I just want you to get this little this little bowl going. Okay, so that is the first part, which is make your detention pond.